Morning America, how are we doing today? Maybe I ought to say morning world, I haven't said that in a while. Morning Australia, morning Canada, morning Europe, morning Asia, morning Africa, morning, oh, morning everybody. <laughs> I ain't said that in a while. Uh, how we uh, how we doing? We're in Junction, Texas right now, uh, this morning, uh, about two hours west of San Antonio on I-10. And we are uh, getting ready to run down to San Antonio and deliver this United Trader. And uh, not too long ago, a while back, some, I had somebody uh, ask me uh, on the comments, ask me, hey, would you do a, like a pre-trip, a walk around truck, you know, what, what, what do you, the inspection that you do every morning uh, on your truck? And uh, uh, I thought, yeah, sure, I could do something like that. And then I get to thinking about it, you know. I'll do a pre-trip inspection, I'll walk around and there'll be some driver out there going, oh, you forgot to check this and you forgot to check that. Let, let me explain. When you do a morning pre-trip inspection, you get out and you just kind of check your truck over real quick, make sure it's there's nothing obviously bad, and you go on down the road, okay? You check your tires, you check your hubs, you check your brakes, you check your lights, you check your permits and all, you know, just certain things. You walk around your truck, you kind of know what's wrong with the tractor. The trader you just picked up, so you, you, you need to look at it pretty good. But the trader, tractor, you already know what's wrong with it, what's right with it. So, then if you do a DOT inspection for like your, um, uh, driver going to kick up a bunch of dust on me. Driving 40 mile an hour in the parking lot. Anyway, um... When you go down to get your CDL driver's license, you have to do a written test, you have to do a driving test, and you have to do a pre-trip inspection. When you go down and talk to the officer, or when you're doing that pre-trip inspection, I can come up here and look at this light, and okay, let's say it's flashing, you know, you got your four ways on, and you're looking at that light, and I can see that it's flashing. I don't, you know, I've registered that, and registered that in my brain. And then I go on down, whatever. but that officer can't hear you. He can't hear what you're thinking, so you got to verbally say, "I am checking the light to make sure it's flashing. That fl the light is flashing. I am checking the headlights to make sure the headlights are working. The headlights are working. I am checking the uh, the uh, the tire to make sure there's enough tread, to, there's enough depth, and there's no damage." You, know, you you verbally have to say every last little thing, because if you don't, that officer doesn't know that you looked at it. Okay, just because you put your hand on it, that doesn't mean anything. You have to actually say it. I never had to do that. I started driving before the CDL driver's license came out. That was back in the mid 90s. I want to say about 94, 95, something like that. And I started driving in the 80s. So I uh, I never had to do that. When, when I did a vehicle, or when I did my driver driver's test, I did a written test. We got in the truck and we drove around the block, parked it. He had me back up about 20 feet on the, in, right on the street there, just backed up about 20 feet. And that was it. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty simple. So. Uh, when the CDLs came along, I didn't have to do all this stuff because I was grandfathered in. So, I decided on this little video, I'm not going to do a DOT inspection, you know, uh, like a driver's license inspection, because there'll be a driver out there picking it apart. Yeah, you forgot to check this. So, what I'm going to do is, I, let's just say I just hooked up to this trader, okay? I just hooked up to this trader, and I, uh, I come back and I hook up my airlines, and my electrical cables for lights and everything. I check my permits, okay? Make sure all my, the, the registration and the uh, inspection form and all that kind of stuff is in there. All right, that back. I check that. If we're picking up a brand new trailer, I check the VIN number against the paperwork that I'm picking up to share, make sure I got the right trailer. If I'm picking up a used trailer like this one is, I just check the trailer number up there, okay? And make sure it's the right trailer that I'm picking up. I look to make sure all the lights are working, okay? I walk back and see if there's any damage. A lot of these moving traders, these belly boxes down here. Oh, look at my belly, this belly. I check, you check, a lot of these belly boxes get tore up like on curbs and stuff and they're all beat up and dented. And if they're damaged, I take pictures of it. I, take, I get my camera out and I take pictures of it, okay? And not only do I take pictures of that, I take a quick video, go click and I go like this up to the the company where I'm picking it up to prove this all happened when I picked it up, not later on. So anyway, and they're not too strict about it because they know their traders get tore up. So they're not terribly strict. The thing is, you can also tell new damage from old damage. 
uh, new damage looks fresh. It, it doesn't have any rust on it, things like that. Brand, you know, old damage, dented, and there's rust and paint flaking off of it. It looks like it's been there a while. So forget about all that. But anyway, uh, check to make sure all the door latches are good and everything. Check the lights, make sure they're working. I get back here. This is the big thing that I check. I really, uh, I'm really concerned with anyway. Is back here on the uh, the, uh, the tire, the tandem. Okay, this all eight tires here is called the tandem. All right, I check the tires. Make sure there's no cuts in the sidewall. Make sure there's no uh, uh, blisters on the side. Uh, the tire will. Let's say you jump a curb and and, and pinch a tire it'll get damaged and the outside will start to blister okay so you check that on all in all, all the sidewalls one two three four five six seven eight and eight more on the other side you check all of that kind of stuff make sure the tires are in good shape okay the other thing is you check your hubs this here's a hub and inside is a bunch of bearings and grease there's oil in here this is what they call an oil bath you pop this off i need to get my gloves but there's inside there there's oil let's see right down in there there's oil. That's 90 weight oil. And you put that in there. Uh, that oil, uh, what do you call it? The oil lubricates the bearings that are in there. You check to make sure that's full on all, all four hubs. The reason you do that is because if there's no oil, the, the bearings get hot. They can catch fire or melt, the, melt and everything. And the, the wheel comes off and goes flying off down the road. So you want to check all that kind of stuff. Uh, what else? Now, some of the new traders don't have an oil bath. They have what they call a grease bath or a, a sealed system. Okay, and there's there's like 90 weight grease in there, not 90 weight, 90 weight oil and uh, uh, grease like axle grease, uh, like your fifth wheel grease, uh, like what goes in a grease gun, that kind of grease. So you put that. Uh, th those are sealed systems. They're non. You know, you don't have to service them. You don't have to. You don't have to do anything with them. They're they're like lifetime. Yeah shouldn't say that but anyway there's nothing you can really do out here that's for mechanics to do not for the driver anyway what else we got you check the lights make sure the light license plate this is what one of the things the cops love to get you on is that little light right there the license plate light they love to pull you over for that so uh, you check your lights you check your doors make sure make sure all the seals aren't now this, this has padlocks on it but make sure on these traders because there's furniture inside people's possessions they put a seal on here. You, if, for, for people that don't know, we drive down a highway and you see this little, there's a little plastic thing on here and it's flapping in the wind. Okay, what that is, that's a seal. There's a number on it. And when they, um, when you pick a trader up for, with cargo or whatever, that seal will uh, prove that you, you haven't opened the doors uh, and everything inside has not been disturbed. So, uh, so nobody stole anything. So anyway, that's the kind of stuff I check. Make sure that everything's mechanically ready to go down the highway. What the world is that? Oh, it's a truck starting up. <laughs> that's a weird sound. Anyway, so uh, good enough on that. I think we'll get on rolling down the highway and uh, ready to go. Oh, uh, one of the other things was about a year ago, about a year ago, I was here in Junction, and I was parked right over there, parked right over there with uh, uh, an oversized load. Pull, pull it beside its oversized load. That next morning, right at right at the break of sunlight, break of day, um, they were getting ready with their their pilot cars and everything, and they went to pull them around. Let me show you that video. I've been holding that video, waiting to use it somewhere. This is just as good a place to use it as any. So. Anyway, this is that big oversized. Load. Pulling around in the parking lot, getting ready to roll down the highway.